Do not let up. All right, music. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Karen Lavender Clothesline, and I am thrilled because today I have my daughter Lisa with me. Hey everyone. <laughs> if you recognize Lisa from her channel, Lisa has a channel called A Girl in Her Work Boots, where she has been renovating a new house that she and her husband bought. And lately you guys are like, Lisa, where are the videos? <laughs> well, Lisa has to do a full renovation before she can put out a video. So her videos take a little bit longer to out than my do because I'm just showing you guys stuff that I buy from a thrift store basically but today is Lisa's 39th birthday happy birthday sweetie so glad you're here <laughs> <laughs> and Lisa took off today I said hey come film with me I'm doing a haul so of course she jumps in I got great kids I gotta say they all jump into my craziness so the support has been amazing so if you knew like I said I am a full-time eBay reseller I make my living selling things on eBay I find these things wherever I look I mean there's just treasure everywhere thrift stores estate sales yard sales auctions people's houses sometimes i even go up to people and say hey how much do you want for the shirt you're wearing yep i have done that all right but today we have a haul it's going to be kind of like a birthday party haul <laughs> not that we're selling birthday things lisa came over we had cupcakes and cups of tea so i think we still have our tea here we do i think we're done with cupcakes and ice cream we had cupcakes and ice cream for lunch delicious and we're just going to look at what i bought you're going to give me your opinion of what you think of this stuff yeah what sounds good so Lisa does work in my eBay business. She comes in about five hours a week and helps me take photographs for eBay. And she will also be editing this video because she is my full-time YouTube editor. Aren't I blessed? All you YouTubers out there that are editing your own videos. <laughs> I got it made. All right, so grab yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. And, and a cupcake. And a cupcake. <laughs> Who doesn't love cupcakes? We had chocolate peanut butter. They were really good. All right, can we get on with the video? <laughs> All right, so let's get started with the first item of the haul. So I got into Goodwill the other day, and right away on the shelf, I saw this massive amount of heavy dishes. Do I want to sell dishes? No. Do I want to ship dishes? No. What did I fill my cart with? Dishes. Here we go. <laughs> you want to pick up this yes. one here? So this is the first one that I put in my cart. Two-tiered tray. And does it have marking on the bottom? The bottom says, oh, I'm reading it? Yes. Deruta, D-E-R-U-T-A. So all of the dishes belong to this set. Now I didn't get full place settings. So I don't have the dinner service. I have a bunch of accessory pieces, I'm gonna call them, and that's what made me pick them up. I'm probably doing local pickup because to ship this is just going to be Kel Nightmare. I am not going to want to do that. <laughs> so um, what are these used for, do you think? And this one actually has a little chip on the edge. If you were having a party, what would an you Italian use? An Italian meal. Oh, an Italian meal. It feels yeah. very Italian to me. Yeah, it's very Tuscany, right? Yes. So Okay, Mexican or Tuscany? Italian, I right? Because I look at this, which we haven't shown yet, and I feel like it's possible. Okay, what does this one say? Hand-painted collection? <laughs> made in China. Oh. <laughs> Tabletops Unlimited. It would be better if it said made in Italy, but all right, so this is item number one. Lisa's got item number two. The pasta bowl. I'm just going to set this down on the floor. So big old pasta bowl, and at the end of this part of the haul, I will tell you what I paid for everything. Take a guess, leave a comment down below when I finish this, what you think I paid for all of this, and then maybe at the end of the haul, I'll say what I paid for everything, that right? That sounds good, yeah. Which I have to say, I asked them to take a special price. Normally, they won't do that, but they wanted to get rid of this because highly breakable, and they were just going to be cleaning it up. So this one time, Goodwill did say, we'll take your not bid, but we'll take your... Offer? Offer, yeah. <laughs> I'm a reseller and I don't know the word offer. Not a good sign. But okay, so pasta bowl is number two. Pretty design, pretty colors. I think it's very Tuscany. Number three, which I thought originally this went with piece number one. Yeah, let's take a look at what that... You could use it together. Is a pie plate? Cake plate? Cake plate, I would think. You could serve this way. That would be beautiful. We should have a Tuscany wedding. That would be Who's really getting married? 
We'll bring Come you buy all of this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right? <I'm> right. <laughs> yeah, really, right? Okay, so that is item number three. Now, these all have individual prices on the bottom, but like I said, they took my offer, and you guys are guessing at what I paid for everything. All right, grab another piece. Okay. We have... Okay, this is going to be a lot of a lot of exercise and workout. <laughs> moving this stuff. The around. cups, which look like this, and we have one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so a full set. I don't know what you would drink out of these. What would be an awful lot of wine? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even drink wine. I don't even like wine. A collective gasp goes out in the in the audience. Do you drink wine? You no, don't drink. I don't drink at all. <laughs> so I doesn't drink alcohol. All right, so it's got to be, I guess, a water water, water goblet. Yeah, we're both water girls. <laughs> water. <laughs> and then we get crazy and put lemon in our water. Woo yeah. yeah. So eight of them. All right. So we have those. This piece, while you do that, oh yeah, actually yeah. goes with the pie plate or the cake plate. Yeah, a little, little pie server. Does that have a sticker or writing it on the back? It does. It says 12 inch footed cake plate and server ceramics. Two piece. Table, Table tops, tops unlimited. unlimited. Was that the store that sold them? No price though, right? No, no store price? No store price. Right after making this video about all of these dishes, I'm going to be like, why in the world did I pick this stuff up? I do that all the time. And you go through a whole process. You pick up the stuff, it's like, look at this stuff. Oh, this is great. You put it in your car. You start to have that <laughs> second, like, why did I buy this? You bring it home, you make a video. I usually love the thing during the video. Then after the video, I have to, you know, photograph and all of that. By the time I'm ready to ship or deliver, I actually hate the items. And then it sells for great money. And I'm like, oh, see, that was... <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it great. again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the problem. All right. So next up, how many of these do we have? Eight. Eight sandwich plates, I'm going to call them. I'm going to just pick up one. It, this stoneware is heavy. Yeah, and it still has the Tabletops Unlimited. I think all of this is new. So maybe a local store donated it. Really, really beautiful. So eight, eight uh, cake plates or and cupcake it says hand plates. Painted. Each piece says hand painted. You know, hand painted is funny. It could be the whole piece was hand painted. It could be that they did paint it by machine and then they added dots or something and they say hand painted. You don't know the whole piece is hand painted. Do you think that whole thing is hand painted? Let's take a look at the difference between two. See, doesn't that look like, I mean, I guess it, could oh, be, now because because look, at, look the at the circle. Look at the pink. Yeah, I yeah, guess this is hand-painted. Each one is very different. So eight of those. We'll just set those to the side. This, I don't think this was the dinner plate. It's too big for a dinner plate. This has got to be 12 inches across. What would you use that for? It just says one of the four. Oh, four piece soup, soup terrine, terrine set. set. Oh, so, hold the phone. <laughs> oh, this okay. is the bottom there you go. to this piece, but I am missing the dipper. I don't think that's a big deal. The dipper probably broke in Goodwill. You open the top? Ooh, that's heavy. Look at that. Beautiful for Thanksgiving or something like that. Or an Italian wedding. <laughs> Italian wedding soup. <laughs> That's our favorite soup. That's your favorite soup, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah. All right. You got it? I got it. Okay. Next piece. Next piece is this tray. And the sign's taken off. Okay. The sticker is taken off. Just a service ware, just a serving platter. I'm going to call this. Again, really nice. I'm thinking I should just sell all of this as a set on Facebook Marketplace and wait about a year for the right person to want all of this. But you know, like I said, I'm not telling what I paid for it just yet, but even if I triple my money, definitely worth the pickup because I don't really have to do anything with this. I'm not getting crazy washing this. I'll probably wipe it down. For me, something like this, it's up to the buyer to clean it when they get it home. Like if you're going to a local pickup and you're buying something from somebody, 
you know, it's in the back of their car, so aren't you going to wash it anyway? Oh, so to photograph it, I'll make sure there's no schmutz, but like I said, these pieces look new. Okay, so here is a still shot of the items that I purchased. It is the pasta bowl, the set of sandwich plates or dessert plates, the tiered server on top of the cake plate with the cake server, eight uh, goblet type cups, the tray underneath or serving platter, and the soup tureen, three pieces. I did not find the ladle. And if you took a guess below and you guessed $30 for all of this, you guessed correctly. So that is what made me pick this set up. I normally would not pay you know, a lot for this. I would normally not pick this up very heavy and I will be selling it local. All right, so that was the end of the stoneware or dishes that I picked up. Now we're just gonna do a few interesting pieces on the table. We're not gonna do all of them because I always pick up a lot. And you're gonna pick them, what we're talking about. <laughs> okay. She doesn't have a choice. <laughs> Two pasta tins. Now I don't pick up a lot of tins, famous less words, but I thought these were really good. $1.99 and $1.99. Container made in England. Oh, that's even better. I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> I do love the United States, but I get very excited when things are made in Italy or Germany, England, France. <laughs> okay, so two tins. I paid $1.99 each. No idea what these are going to bring. I just popped them in my cart. They're in really nice shape. They're beautiful. And yeah, I thought the colors. Okay, so what would this be in a Tuscany kitchen? I was going to say, <laughs> if you buy the dishes, you have to buy the tins also. <laughs> That's just how it goes. So that is the first item. Two pasta macaroni tins and if you see anything that you want in this haul know it takes us probably by the time I clean it Lisa photographs it comes into my office and gets listed probably at least one week from when you see the video we just saw a man pulling in the driveway we didn't know who he was <laughs> <laughs> is he for you or for me okay. she's married so it'd be yeah no. <laughs> just kidding Roger <laughs> love you sweetie <laughs> All right, next All right, next is... You, you I say it's a wall it. pocket. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I've watched enough of my mom's videos to know what a wall pocket looks like. So that's the back. It's got where the hook hangs. This is what it looks like. The bottom stamp, if you can see that, it's a little blurry. What do we think that says? You're kidding, right? <laughs> vision normally looks like when I don't have my readers on. And it looks like somebody did use it for plants because there is dirt all inside. Mm -hmm. And this blue pattern, I always forget what it's called. This pattern is called something. So you guys can tell me once again, can I just say how helpful your comments are? When I go to list something, I scroll back through the comments for the video where I showed it. And you guys always tell me what I have. Like recently with stemware, I picked up a lot of stemware. You guys were all on it of what pattern it was. Love you guys. Thank you so much. So there is a name to that pattern. Floral chinoiserie or something. I don't know. <laughs> Just made that up. <laughs> All right. So that is that item. We're switching spots. Yeah. We okay. can get that idea. <laughs> That's fine. Which one's Confuse your favorite me. size? <laughs> I'm more comfortable than that. <laughs> now we're ready. Next up, how could you pass these up? Do we love a good whale? Yes, we do. Adorable. And who do we think of when we see these? Melissa. Melissa. Always. <laughs> Melissa, sweetie, look, aren't these cute? I wish she was here. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> Three whales, graduated size, the dad, the mom, and the baby, shades of blue and white on a lucite base. Really nice. $2.99. I'm going to use these or I'm not going to use them. I'm going to sell them as bookends. I only have one. So I was really hunting for the other one. Wouldn't that be yeah, cute to be have beautiful. books? I mean, their faces wouldn't quite touch, but close enough. And they're quite heavy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it as a bookend, but really cute. Did I say how much I yes. paid? Okay. Two ninety nine. I said that. <laughs> oh, if I have to pick and talk about the thing, I don't want this one. Okay. <laughs> this says Florida on it. It's a little trinket dish, and it has a green plastic, yeah. you think? Yeah. Gorilla. Which is odd. Which is odd. <laughs> I thought it was a soap dish. For the oh, bathroom. that's cuter. Yeah. Okay. It's a soap dish, not yeah. a trinket dish. <laughs> well, it could be a trinket dish. Three ninety nine. Yeah. It could doesn't have change. a maker's mark on it. Yeah. But do you notice anything about it that's really funny? It says Florida and it has a gorilla? No. Oh, oh yeah, that's funny too. No, no it, it must have broke and somebody fixed it with gorilla glue. Oh. <laughs> 
So there is a blob of glue showing there. Why would there be a gorilla? And a little bit. On a dish that says Florida. Maybe it was in is a Florida Is Florida known zoo. for a gorilla? Gorillas? You think there's just gorillas? <laughs> well, that's what I'm Florida. saying. Why would, it's not like a dolphin or something. How many times have you been to Florida? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Never seen, seen one gorilla. <laughs> I haven't even seen alligators there. No, but yeah. why a gorilla? That's what I'm asking. I don't know. He's cute. It's he's adorable. Zoo. Absolutely. Yeah. Who knows? It's good where for it a kid's from. bathroom. But I thought this was fantastic. It reminds me a little bit of the frog garbage can. That same look to it. Remember the okay. garbage can, yes. the loose side with the frogs hanging on. But I love stuff like this. Very kitschy. Three ninety nine. And I'll probably get, I don't know, about 9000 for it. Just kidding. <laughs> That's what the starting bit is at. Yeah. 9000 <laughs> He's really got a lot of stuff on him. I don't know. But I, I thought he was good to pick up. All right. Your what turn. Else? Lemons. <laughs> That's what Lemons. She thinks. I'm missing a lemon, too. It's probably floating around underneath my car seat. And they're just very realistic lemons. I love stuff like this. I paid $1.99 for the bag. Yep, $1.99. I'll probably sell them for like, I don't know, $10 or $12. And they're light. So whenever I have fruit like this, very realistic. It's always plastic. I don't buy the flocked um, coated ones. And I don't buy the modern beaded ones. Right. I do buy the antique beaded ones. Very hard to come by. Those bring crazy high money. These are just plastic, but they're very realistic. A lot of times Pottery Barn or somebody like that sold them. And like I said, $10 or $12 super easy to ship. We love lemons. My next piece is going to be this dish. Oh, because I love this dish. <laughs> Do you have a lot to say about it? Because I probably don't. It's just a little brown dish, a pot. Should I take the Goodwill sticker off to see if there's a if you want to, yeah. Yes. What do you think it's made out of? Uh, pottery? Uh, clay? Yeah. <laughs> so fun. No. After editing all of these videos, haven't you learned everything? It just gets all fuzzy after editing for 10 hours. It's like, yep, yep, that's what it is. But nothing, nothing on the bottom. Now, if a person, uh, to me, this is like, this is a real potter. I mean, this person knows what they're doing. Beautiful. And it's got like a ring to it. Some clay has more of like a thud, and some has, I wish I could get the ring translated. It's very high pitched. You would think that they would mark it. If I could do this, I would be writing my name like <laughs> all over the pot. Like I made Would you this. use Karen or lavender clothesline? Oh, line? definitely lavender clothesline because I got stuck with Karen. Can we just appreciate how my parents had every name to choose in the world? And they choose Karen. Okay. Just leaving it there. And I'm over it. Just saying that. To yeah, me. we can tell. We can tell she's over it. <laughs> Lovely though, just beautiful, hand thrown, and um, it's glazed. It seems to be like more glazed, more interesting a glaze on the inside than the outside. Correct. But I love it. I don't know what what the sticker. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. She crumpled my sticker. <laughs> you were done. And you don't need um, sticker. I'm going to want uh, quite a bit for this because it's so well made. I'm thinking twenty five to thirty for, for something like this. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, the next item Roger found when he was thrifting without me, he brings me things that are just so good, and I love that he knows my taste. We've been dating probably about seven months yep. now, still having a great time, and can I say, this guy is such a good sport. I can hold up the craziest thing in a thrift store and say, hey, honey, try this on, and he does. So recently, I held up a pink sport jacket. I've never seen a man in a pink sport jacket. And he didn't miss a beat. I was like, hey, honey, try this on. Let's see. It was too small for him, of course. And he's just so going with the flow and put it on. And everybody in Goodwill was making comments and stuff. He was just having a great old time. So shout out to Roger. If you don't know who Roger is, he is a reseller I met in Goodwill. Yep, I met my boyfriend in Goodwill. <laughs> We're having a great time. But um, he brings me things. All right. All right. This so up. this item Roger brought me. This is Phantom of the Opera ceramic masks designed and handmade exclusively by Clay Art 1988. And the man knows his stuff. So if he brings me things, pretty much they're going to bring good money. The story behind the mask. And if I remember correctly, he knew that this would bring probably 35 to 40, if not more. I'm not sure what's making it so special. It's nice. Probably because it's Phantom of the Opera itself from Broadway. Maybe. Maybe you have to have that permission to yes. use that title, right? Because even the famous. title's written with the cracks in it. Yeah. That's written the way yeah. Broadway has it. So that is the box to it. And I don't remember what he paid. He told me, and I have no clue. I'm going to say he paid $2.99. Okay. 
got that. Yep. Next up, my choice to talk about is this gorgeous gold. Look at the pattern on this ceiling light. So there is the back. I'm not as thrilled with the back. It's okay, but it's a little bit thin. What does that say on it? It's upside down. It's it's inside out too. Lindbergh? 665? Oh, okay. 299. I don't know what age this is, but when I see something that is so, I'm gonna call this Art Deco. Do you think if I take the tape off, it would say anything inside? Like on the back? I it might, but I mean. Is it worth it? No, probably okay. not. It's not worth it. But anyway, I figured somebody's really gonna want this. I've never seen a ceiling light like this. I don't imagine this is like Home Depot, do you think? No, I wouldn't think so. And from the back, my guess is like 1970s or 80s. I could be wrong about everything I just said. <laughs> just guesses. Just I like to guess at things. I should have some knowledge by now, you would hope. But um, just beautiful. It's kind of like a chevron pattern. So I gladly took that. And I actually don't mind shipping things like this. So uh, the glass is pretty thick. So that is my item. Okay. My choice to talk about are these drawer pulls or knobs. This is what they look like. They're more of a brushed nickel, I'd call them. Pewter? Pewter? Mm, I don't know. I'd call this pewter. Brushed pewter. And this is what the back looks like. Just simple drawer knobs. There's quite a few in here. They don't come with their screws and Sometimes screws are hard to find because I just renovated a rental house for one of my clients and she went all over the place looking for new knobs to fit onto all of the doors in the oh. house because we're changing all the doorknobs out on all of the closets and you need these little pulls. But for some reason, all of the screws that came with the new knobs didn't fit the doors because they were either too long or too short. And then the way they screwed into the actual knob when we bought new screws, those didn't work either because of the threading. So uh, I have sold a lot of knobs and <laughs> this is a little bit new information for me. I usually give the yeah. clearance, I'm gonna call it. So when I list these on eBay, I give how tall it is, you know, from the, from the base of it to the top. But I've never thought, and oh, and I give the width of this, the stem, but I've never given the whole size. I mean, I kind of thought it was universal. I think most of the knobs you have come with the screws in the bags. Oh, oh All dear. of the ones that we've sold. Oops. <laughs> now, why do you think I picked up a whole bag of knobs? Um, because somebody's going to want these to be able to redo their whole entire house, and you probably have a good, what do you think's in here, 20, 25? 20, 20 to 30, yeah. $2.99. What do you think you'll get for them? I'm going to say over $30. Because if I you agree. go into Home Depot to buy one knob, they could be $4 and change. Hobby Lobby has knobs. Not to cut you off, but I'm going to. Hobby Lobby has knobs for like $8 a piece. Oh, I thought you so, were going to say cheap. I was going to say, no, don't tell them that. No, $8. <laughs> Much more expensive than what she's going to sell hers for. <laughs> so buy, on, <laughs> buy all of ours. Yeah. <laughs> so yes to a whole baggie of knobs for, what did we say? $2.99. $2 all right, we're going to do two more items and a pair of shoes. Something like that? Yep. Sound good? I'm going to choosing this. Okay. Okay, so I pick up a lot of these vintage, I'm going to call them letter holders. So there's a lot you can use this for. You can put it in an office and keep your pens and scissors and stuff like that. We all know. I have never seen one with a carved owl. Can I say the simplest stuff excites me at this point <laughs> in the game. It's like, oh, an owl? Oh, I've never found one of those. So this is what it looks like. It's in beautiful condition. Little cork board, definitely vintage. And it paid $2.99. So what do you Cute. think I should charge for this? Mm, $20, $25? I think I'm going to put this on for $40. It's got little hooks. <laughs> People I'm at else. $45. Yeah. <laughs> And then if it doesn't sell after 10 years, then I'll lower the price. I'll consider it. <laughs> Just know that if you look in my store, you're going to see the same items. You could see some of them for over a year. It doesn't bother me. It's not a big deal. That's my business model. And I make plenty of money doing it. So for everybody saying, wow, you had that thing for two months. Yep. And I'm going to have it for until it sells. I don't get rid of anything. I don't redonate. I don't throw something out unless it has damage. That's just me, it works for me. If you're of the mindset that you're gonna pick up items from wherever you're getting them from and put all the work into cleaning and listing and all of that, and then after a month it doesn't sell, you're gonna go donate it back or throw it out, give me a call and I'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> so an owl, 
uh, cubby caddy, wood caddy we're gonna call it. This is my last item. It is a copper, yeah. fake copper. Look inside, pull the top off. What does it look like inside? So it is coated with, I forgot what that's called. Here I tell you to do it like I'm gonna have this big information. I forgot, somebody told me what this is called. It's lined with something when you're really show. gonna use it. That's what it looks like inside. Aluminum? So it is. Uh, I hope not. Is that aluminum <laughs> dangerous? I think they found out that aluminum is not good to cook in. Coffee pot? Turkish coffee pot? That sounds right. Oh, there's something underneath. Of course. Three ninety nine. Let's see. You Keep to, talking while I You do have this. to be like a Houdini <laughs> to get Goodwill stickers off. Should I say something else now? <laughs> I'm taking a sip of tea. Keep yeah. going. <laughs> I'm going to drink my tea. Okay, that's good enough. It says copper. Copper craft? No. Copper world? Oh, copper craft something. I told you it was copper. Copper craft guild? Yeah. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Massachusetts. I love copper craft guild. I believe it's copper craftsmen. The join a guild, or is it really a business? It's got to be a business, right? It's not just a group yeah, of people think so. sitting around making things out of copper. <laughs> I want that life, okay? <laughs> so, Turkish coffee Cute. pot. Yeah. Really nice. And I don't know if somebody's really going to use it for its intended purpose, but this is really nice on different wood shelving. People collect things just for decor. And, um, and I really liked it. So $2.99? Yeah. $2.99. Uh, no idea what this brings. Do I say $3.99? $3.99. $3 $3 $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $4, dollars somewhere around there. Did you have anything else to say? No, nothing. That's it. <laughs> That's it. We're done with the copper pot. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> Last item up, a pair of shoes. Lest I forget. One shoe for you. One oh, why, thank you. These are the original Dr. Scholl's. The wood clippy clop clog slide sandals. These can do very well. Now the market has cooled on them. I think I've talked about this before, but when I see them, I grab them if, if, if they're made in Italy. That is the one criteria because eventually these got made with plastic soles. They got made in China. They got, these probably were even sold in like Walmart and discount stores. But the original ones are the ones that people really collect or want. So um, this one's like in a bone color, the leather, genuine leather. Wood sole. Size 38. There's the Dr. Scholl's. Yeah, it's always in, what is that European size, I would think? Italian. Italian, <laughs> right? I wonder if, oh, because European size and Italian size is probably two different size numbers. You I think? don't know. I should know about that. I have shoe size charts for the conversion. But um, having said all of that, the little hardware is uh, does have, I call it verdigree. It does have some distressing to it. But these should do quite well. $3.99. I haven't looked at the market lately. I just threw these in my car because I know to get them. Probably $30. Um, they used to bring, I have sold these for over $100. But that was probably over five years ago when they were harder to find. Now everybody knows about it because YouTubers like me are saying, hey, these are good to pick up. <laughs> so the market becomes saturated. Yep, it's me alone saturating <laughs> eBay's it's all market. You. It's all me. It's all my fault. But... Um, all right, well, I had a very fun birthday. time hanging Thank out you. with you. Happy birthday. Thank you. 39. Can you believe I have a 39-year-old? Well, Melissa's what, 42? Yep. You're 39, and Dylan is 34. That's my three kids. Can't yep. believe it, but thank you, sweetie. I love you. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours. Mm -hmm.